hello friends welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i installed this super beautiful long thick luscious hair and how i got these really nice loose curls on this body wave wig this wig was sent to me by wiggins hair company all the information and specs will be down below so this is a six by six closure wig and I really loved working with this wig. It was 26 inches, 250% density. Like y'all, this wig was thick. <laughs> All right, thick, th 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 thick, okay? And I just really loved the lace itself. I believe this was a transparent lace. No, HD lace, my bad. This was an HD lace and is a six by six closure, meaning that it goes really far back in the parting and it's a little bit longer than your standard four by four closure. So the can, this can help you achieve more of that frontal vibe you can still get that frontal look with a four by four of course but i like six six by six because i love a really nice deep parting especially for this look that i was going for so as you can see i just finished tinting my lace with my foundation just you know same routine i'm going ahead and just cutting off those little like white tabs on the side of your closure you do not want to install this part because that's just going to make it look very bumpy so you want to make sure you cut off that little white section and the scissors that i was using freaking broke so i go back I can get another pair of scissors but once i've cut off my little tabs i'm going in with my got to be a spray i try to spray as close to the hair as possible because you know if i spray all over the place it's just going to be more messy when I'm pulling it off but this nozzle has no control so it just gets everywhere anyways using a blow dryer on a warm to cool setting to just help me you know push that lace and glue combination in this also helps the lace i mean the glue dry i'm also using a rat tail comb to just help me you know push it all in please don't mind my makeup i'm looking very oily and greasy but this is because i was trying to install this wig late night after a really long day i already filmed the video earlier and i thought maybe you know i could film two videos back to back but no as you will see i will i kind of just stopped the video at the like baby hair install and come back the next morning to continue the video so excuse my makeup it's really old it's been on for like i don't know a couple hours but yeah just a little disclaimer now i'm going in cutting in my lace and you already know i like to use the scissors to section but i use an eyebrow razor to just go ahead and cut all of that off to get you a nice zigzag hairline because what the hairline is not straight it is in a zigzag if that makes sense Of course, cutting the lace will will cause some lifting because you know I had to lift it up to help me cut it. So I'm just going back in with my got to be spray to just touch up those little places that have the little white cast and just also using the same blow dryer to help, you know, re-secure, re-lock in that grip of the glue. And I'm gonna use my um, elastic band again to just help me make sure everything is dry and nice and stuck. And again, it looks really gross and icky on my forehead because I have makeup. I do not suggest, honestly, installing a wig with makeup. I feel like it's just so messy, in my opinion. Those who can get away with it, honestly, they must be just phenomenal professionals. I don't know. But for me, I prefer to install my wig with a clean face. But for this video, I try to make it work. Time for the baby hairs. Just going in with my little comb to help me pull out the baby hairs. And like always, for my closures, I just do two baby hairs on the side. That's my preference. That's what I like do you whatever you want to do some people like to comment and be like oh my god the two baby hairs are so ugly okay then don't do two baby hairs uh -uh. do what you like do what you please anyways let me get off my soapbox so i'm just going in and doing my baby hairs which is kind of very visually self-explanatory so i'm going to come back after i've done all of that and you know continue the voiceover
so the baby hairs are all nice and complete putting on my elastic band again to let this all you know melt and marinate i'm going in with some concealer to help that part you know just pop and i'm here i'm just showing you guys how freaking long this hair was even though it's supposed to be 26 inches i'm telling y'all it felt like a good 30 inches it was so long i am five two five three ish depending on you know who's measuring me but the hair was super long super full i mean for 250 percent density it better be full but here i am just trimming off the ends to kind of give it a very nice polished look also cutting in some layers i knew i wanted long layers i didn't want like super face framing layers just something that would flow nicely when i did go ahead and cut the hair Now to polish off the top of the hair, I'm using my wax stick and a combination of my hot comb to just get it nice, flat, and shiny. So the two styling serums that I'll be using today is I'm going to use my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine and also the Bio Silk Serum. I mix them both together and I feel like this really helps with frizz and also helps to add a nice healthy shine without weighing down the hair. Okay, here we are next day. So you can see my makeup is looking much fresh, less worn in, if you know what I mean. I'm wearing the same top because that was my pajamas and this is the next morning. So anyways, whatever. I knew I wanted to do like a nice loose wave type of a curl. So I used the biggest curling wand that I have. This is a inch and a half curling wand from Remington. I got it from Target. It was like $25, $28, around that, under $30. So what I'm basically doing is just wrapping the curls backwards. And one thing I have to make sure, since this hair is super long, I want to make sure I have room to wrap it all around. Make sure that you're holding the curls and the flat iron flat onto each other like put tension as you're wrapping it around i'm not twisting the hair i'm wrapping it around if that makes sense and then i like to just let the curls drop in my hand for a minute and just let it like cool hold it for like about five seconds to let the curls kind of like form properly and then i slowly release the curls and kind of like gently pull on them as i'm letting them come down so it can have a nice you know loose wave I did work in kind of like medium-ish sections because I did want this to be very loose. I didn't want a curl, I wanted more of a wave. Like, you know, since this was body wave hair, I wanted to kind of recreate the body wave look in the hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just curl the rest of my head and come back when it's time for the final results.
So now that I'm done curling all of my head, I like to use a wide tooth comb first or my hands to kind of just run through the curls before I go ahead and use a brush because sometimes using a brush automatically kind of just makes the curls get all over the place. So I pref prefer to use like my fingers or a comb first and then proceed to brush the curls out if I want them to be more loose. I'm just using my hot comb to kind of help press the hair down some more and just, you know, finish off the look. This was honestly one of my favorite looks to do. It was super simple, like it wasn't anything extra. I think I just liked how like long and full and like the way the curls really came out. That's what I liked about this a lot. And made me start thinking, I feel like, you know, whenever you see Instagrammers with those really nice, thick, long, luscious hair, like Arrogante, I feel like they get these really big full densities because i'm telling you that is not 150% density or 180 density that, um the real Kylie's sister is using on her hair. She has like 200 to 250 density. That's how you get that super full, big look. But um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I hope to see you in another one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, Girl Scouts.